Okay, in this video slash audio clip, I'm just going to give you a little bit of explanation about the marking criteria for the upcoming presentation next Tuesday in our class. So basically, what I'm going to mark is the structure of your presentation and also your engagement with your audience and also your voice and English. The first one is your stru the structure of your presentation. I would like to see you to give self-introduction um, and also introduction to the culture you are about to present. So those two are basically the main things. For the first point, your self-introduction, you may give details of your name, your age and where you come from. Those three are the main things. Uh, but you can also add more points in your self-introduction as long as the purpose is to make that introduction more interesting. That's fine for me. The second one in, your, in the structure of your presentation is the introduction to the culture you are about to present. So first, what culture it is, where that culture comes from. For example, I'm going to say this culture that I'm about to present is from Makassar and it is about Panaik, the culture of Panaik. So Panaik is the tradition where a man in Makassar needs to pay a certain amount of money to a woman's family if that man wants to marry that woman. So the amount of money that needs to be paid will be based on the woman's background. For example, um, the wealth of the woman's family or the education background of that woman. For example, if the woman um, graduated from a master's degree, then the amount of panaik money which needs to be paid will be a lot higher than the amount needs to be paid to a woman only completed undergraduate study. So that is my example. You may add more points to this particular um, introduction of what the culture is about just to make sure that you cover enough about the culture in your presentation. The second point, still in the introduction to the culture, is how that culture differs from your own culture. So it is about the things you don't understand from that culture. For example, how the Panaik culture from Makassar is different from my own culture. For example, I know there is a tradition of giving mahar if a man wants to marry a woman in Indonesia but this is the first time I heard that the woman's background sets the amount of money that needs to be paid for example if a man needs to pay like 1 billion of money to a woman's family if that woman is a doctoral graduate it's just blowing my mind that fact is just that just doesn't make sense to me for example because in my culture um, it doesn't have to be that way for example and then after that you may want to elaborate more on for example your critical thinking towards why that could be different to your culture for example and then the next one is your attitude towards the culture here you could say whether you like that culture or not whether you don't understand the culture or not whether you want to adopt the culture into your life or not so basically if I'm going to talk about the Panay culture of Makassar I would say for instance I don't understand the culture I think the culture seems to develop an idea of giving a prize to a woman now that may bother some people but that's the point that's the point of um, trying to explain about the culture that you don't understand and probably a culture that you don't like at all I think that's that's fine which is why we need to jump to the next point which is about how you overcome the difference and eventually respect that culture 
for example, I try to learn that the Panay culture in Makassar has been present from the old times. A lot of people practice it that way in Makassar, but it's only for the people of Makassar. They do not necessarily apply that culture to other um, people coming from outside of Makassar, for example. So that is one of the example how I overcome the difference between that culture and my culture and how I respect that culture. So those are basically the structure of the presentation that I'm searching from your presentation. I'm looking for in your presentation. All of the structure of your presentation, the maximum mark of that structure is 70%. The next 20% is how you engage with your audience. So in this particular category, I'm going to look at your body language, your eye contact with your audience. Are you engaging your audience enough to your story, to your presentation? And in this category as well, you may want to use certain um, sentences to engage um, with your audience, for example. You can ask your audience whether they have heard about the culture or not. And the next, the last 10% would be the voice and the language of English that you use in your presentation. For example, I want to see if you could talk or present the culture that you are presenting in a natural way. You talk smoothly and also presents your points clearly in your presentation and make sure that your presentation only lasts maximum at about 15 minutes so no more than 15 minutes please so yeah that's the marking criteria for our upcoming presentation good luck